Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin review video. In this video, we'll be doing an unboxing and then a 24 hour first impression review of the Garmin Vivo Active 4. So this is a brand new watch from Garmin. It features a touch screen, but it also has two buttons on it. It also has GPS for tracking your activities. It's waterproof, so you can wear it while you're swimming or even in the shower. It has onboard storage for your music and podcast. And on top of all that, it gets around seven days of battery life, all for $350 on Amazon. So check the link in the description to find that price. Now, one of the things I'll be doing during this review is a quick comparison with my Garmin Forerunner 245, just between the look and the design of the two watches. I will be doing a more in-depth comparison between all of the features and the menus of those watches. So check the description because I'll put a link down there once I complete that video. All right, so let's go ahead and open the box and take a closer look at the Vivo Active 4. So the box just slides right open with the top coming off. Really nice looking box. And there we go, we have the Vivo Active 4. Really love the look of this. I got the stainless steel with the gray band, which kind of reminds me of the color of my Garmin Instinct. Really impressed with the size of this. This is the 45 millimeter version. So it's gonna be around three millimeters bigger than the 245, but you can definitely tell the difference when you look at it. As you can see, it does have the hour hand marks around the display in the watch face. So it kind of has a classic watch look. Let's go ahead and lift it up out of the box and see what else we have in here. So we have some documentation, we have an owner's manual, and then we have some safety information. I will be linking to the web version of the owner's manual, which includes much more information than what's in this little booklet here. And it's also searchable. And then we have the charging cable, and this is the charging connector that Garmin uses on all of their new watches. And then on the other side is USB. All right, let's get the Vivo Active 4 out of this. Wow, this is really cool looking, really nice. I love the band, great color. I was a little bit hesitant to get this color. I usually get black watches, as you can see with my 245, but I decided to switch it up. Very happy I did that. Get this removed right here. Wow, that is a beautiful looking watch right there. I love the stainless steel. Kind of reminds me of the Forerunner 645. So the display here is actually a 1.3 inch display, and this is gonna be an always on display. So I'll go ahead and turn it on by pressing one of these buttons. There we go, it'll boot up. So this display will always be on, but it will have a backlight so that you can read it at night. Looking at the buttons here, as you can see, those are stainless steel as well. There are only two buttons on the right side. I kind of like how they're flat and long rather than a round button. And then there are no buttons on the left side. So if you look at the bezel here, I really like how they did that where it's kind of a non-polished stainless steel in the top where this angle's at. And then on the side, it almost looks like it's polished where it's almost like chrome. Taking a look at the back of the watch, you have the Vivo Active 4 name with the Garmin logo. Then you have the charging port right here, and then you have the heart rate monitor. As you can see, it does not stick out too much, so you shouldn't have to worry about any indentation on your wrist as long as you don't have your watch on way too tight. Now the bands here are quick connect, so all you need to do to remove them and replace them is just pull this back and it'll come right off. They also are very secure. I've never had any issue with one of those coming off. Now these bands are going to be a standard 22 millimeter. So you can actually just buy a standard 22 millimeter band from Amazon and that'll fit right onto this watch. So you can really customize this to look however you want it. One thing about these watch bands is they're very smooth and durable. I've never actually had one of these bands break or tear in any way. And they also stay very clean as well. And then you have the buckle on the band, which is going to be made out of metal. One more thing about the display here, the glass is going to be Corning Gorilla Glass Class 3, which should be a more beefed up, stronger glass. Now I do wanna say that the 245 has that as well. And I do have a little scratch right there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. So I do think it's worth it to invest in a screen protector. They're probably about $5 on Amazon for a three pack but that will protect your screen and make sure you don't get any scratches or anything. So when comparing the Vivo Active 4 on the left side right here to the Forerunner 245, as you can see, you can really see that size difference with the Vivo Active 4 looking much bigger. Now the biggest difference is going to be the Vivo Active 4 is a touch screen where the Forerunner is not, and you have five buttons on the Forerunner. And one of the big advantages of that is that you can use it with no issues while you're swimming or in the shower. Just with the touch screen, if there's any water on it and you're trying to control it, it's not gonna respond very well. So that's one of the biggest differences between a touch screen and a non-touch screen. Now looking at the thickness right here, you can see that they're basically the same thickness with the heart rate monitor on the Vivo Active 4 actually sticking out a little bit more than the Forerunner 2. 45. Now the bands in these are both made out of silicon, so they will have a very similar feel when you wear them. All right, so now that we've taken a closer look at the Vivo Active 4, and then we've done a quick comparison with the Forerunner 245, I'm gonna go ahead and get this watch set up, and then I will wear it for 24 hours and give you my first impressions. 
All right, so I've been using the Garmin VivoActive 4 for about 24 hours now. And I have to say overall, very, very impressed with the VivoActive 4. It is a really great watch. First, I'm really loving the size of this. The 45 millimeters is a perfect size for my wrist. I think it looks great. It feels great on my wrist. No issues when I was sleeping with discomfort or anything like that during the day. I haven't had any issues with the weight of it at all. Now I do have a Garmin Fenix 6 as well, which is a 47 millimeter. So I found that the 45 millimeter right here is kind of a sweet spot. I really love the way that it fits on my wrist and the way it looks with the display and the bezel. And going further with the display, very impressed with how clear and colorful and vibrant this display is. The touchscreen has been very accurate and responsive when going through all the menus and widgets and everything like that on the watch. I haven't had any issues controlling it, especially coming from another watch that does not have a touchscreen. So I haven't found that to be a problem. Another thing I was really impressed with is the variety of different activities that they have on this watch. You have everything from running, biking, walking, all the way down to pool swimming, golf, sup, strength, yoga, Pilates, and then they even have other crazier ones such as gymnastics, martial arts, and yard work. So really that kind of makes this an everyday fitness tracker where you can track everything that you're doing. It doesn't have to be a workout. It could be an errand or a hobby. And probably one of the most important things about this watch, while it is versatile, you can track everything from yard work to running, it is a Garmin activity tracker. So it's going to have that very detailed activity tracking that Garmin kind of specializes in. So if I go into run, you, and then get into the settings there. You can see that they have data screens right here. So you can configure the watch to show four data sets while you're on your workouts, which is really great because say you're running or hiking, you can have the altitude, your distance, your heart rate, all on the same screen. So you don't have to play with it or wait to see the data you wanna see. You can have the watch just display it. Very cool. And then they also have pre-programmed details such as interval training, run, walk, and you can use Garmin Coach, which is built into the Vivo Active 4 to learn how to do a 5K, 10K, or even half marathon. So lots of awesome features there for people just getting into running or people that wanna get better at running. Now, like I was saying, this is a versatile activity tracker. It does seem like they're trying to cover all aspects of health. They have everything from menstrual cycle tracking, water intake tracking, respiration tracking. So this will kind of track how many breaths you're taking per minute and that can kind of gauge your health. It has body battery, which uses a special formula created by Garmin that combines your sleep with your heart rate to see how much energy you are using throughout the day and how much you have left. And it also has stress tracking with a guided breathing relaxation timer, which is really cool. Another feature that I really think is cool that the Vivo Active 4 has is gonna be incident detection and Garmin assistance. Well, first the watch will detect if you're in an activity and you fall it'll alert your emergency contacts but then also you can manually trigger that by just holding down this button for around five seconds so it'll bring it up and it'll start sending the assistance alert to your emergency contacts i had to cancel it there because i don't want to freak out my family but it's really cool that it has that so i think that that helps keep people safe while they're out on the go or doing activities things like that if they're alone so like I said, I've only been using the Vivo Active 4 for about 24 hours. So I haven't had a lot of experience testing it and doing activities with it, but I do have to say that the heart rate monitor, the sleep tracking and the step tracking all seems to be accurate and comparable with my Phoenix 6 and my Forerunner 245. So I haven't seen any issues there. While I was a little worried about the dimple from the heart rate monitor being a little bit bigger than the 245, I haven't noticed any pain or discomfort from that. So I don't think that that's gonna be an issue. When it comes to the battery life, I think that the seven days is accurate, but you may need to tweak the different settings in here, such as the backlight and vibration strength, different things like that, to ensure that you get a battery life that meets your needs. All right, so that was a quick first impressions after 24 hours of using the Garmin Vivo Active 4. I'm very impressed with the look of it and also the capabilities and features that are included in this watch. I do plan on creating and posting several tutorials of how to use the different features and set up different items on the watch. So I recommend checking that out. I will have a link in the description. If you have any questions about the Garmin Vivo Active 4, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact Garmin watch on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gauging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.